Hello here. Once again, welcome back to another session. Today, I will discuss configure and verify inter switching connectivity topic native VLAN. First, let us know what is native VLAN. Normally, a switch to switch port configured as a trunk port send and receive IEEE 801Q VLAN tag Ethernet friends. Between switch to switch, pass the data. We use trunk port and we declare in trunk port and that is actually accept tagging frame. Tagging frame means each VLAN has individual ID and that is pass data to the destination. The native VLAN is simply the one VLAN which traverses a trunk port without a VLAN tag. Tag frame means each switch can see what VLAN the frame belongs to and can forward the frame to corresponding VLAN access ports or, the, or to another VLAN trunk port. We know trunk port actually tag frame transfer one switch to another switch but if we assign under native VLAN it can allow frame without tag. That means if the frame is without VLAN ID it can allow to the native VLAN and Cisco by default VLAN is VLAN 1. So that means VLAN 1 is native VLAN but you can change it. So VLAN 1 is not mandatory for native VLAN. Never use VLAN 1 at all. Disable unused port and put them in an unused VLAN. Always use a dedicated VLAN ID for all transports. Remember, if native VLAN differ between switch, you may get an error. So that means if you want to make these two switch native VLAN, and if you did not and if you did any mismatch during the configuration it will make loop or data error so native VLAN must match between both switch this is our topology we can see two switch we will create one data VLAN and that VLAN name IT later on we will take this PC under IT and this PC we will take under native VLAN. After all, we will transfer data in between native VLAN to check the tag. So native VLAN should be untagged frame. When native VLAN transfer data in between them, it will present the frame without tag. But in between IT VLAN transfer the frame must be with tag. So let's go for configuration. As per the configuration step, we will create VLAN in switch 1 and switch 2. The VLAN will be data VLAN name IT and another VLAN native VLAN ID 999. And interface 1 will declare trunk port and here we will allow native VLAN. So let's configure switch 1. So first we will create VLAN. Enter VLAN configuration terminal VLAN to name IT VLAN triple nine name native VLAN. So now we need to assign interface under the VLAN so we can see switch port 2 the IT VLAN and switch port 3 we will assign under native VLAN and same configuration we will do for the switch 2 so now we need to assign interface under the VLAN so interface FA 0 slash 2 switch port access VLAN 2 interface 3 switch port access VLAN triple nine and now we need to declare port 1 is a trunk port and we will allow native VLAN here so interface 
एफ ए जीरो वन स्विच बोर्ड मोड ट्रांक सो नाउ लेट्स अलाउ नेटिव विलेन उथ इन द ट्रांक पोर्ट स्विच पोर्ट ट्रांक नेटिव विलेन ट्रिपल नाइन For the security to avoid villain hopping attack, you can allow villain ID through trunk code. So here we will allow our uh, two villain IT and native villain, and the ID is two and triple nine. So the configuration is switch port trunk allowed villain two and triple nine. Look, two and triple nine. This is our villain, and two IT and triple nine is a native villain. So here we are allowing only IT and native villain. So switch one configuration is done. So let's go to switch two to do the same configuration. the switch the same thing we'll do we'll create the villain terminal villain to name it villain triple nine name native villain now we need to assign the port out of the villain so our port 2 is under it and port 3 under native villain so we will assign port 2 under it interface fa 0/2 switch port access villain 2 interface 3 switch port access villain triple nine so we need to declare put one as a trunk port and here we will allow native villain interface f01 switch port mode trunk So now we will allow our native villain within the trunk port. The configuration is switch port trunk native villain triple nine, and we will allow villain ID through the trunk port to avoid the villain hopping attack. So the configuration is. Switch port trunk allowed VLAN two and triple nine. So our configuration is done. Now let's see the configuration. Do show run. So you can see in our running configuration. Interface one, switch port trunk native villain, and within the trunk port we allowed villain two and triple nine, and this port mode is a trunk mode, and interface two under villain two, and interface three under native villain. So let's. So now. Let's set up IP address to the end device. Okay. Now let's move to the simulation mode. Then we will take one packet within the IT VLAN. So simulation mode. We will send ICMP packet. 
from this PC to this PC and we will we'll check the frame jump forward so we can see inbound uh, it is with frame with tag and let's try the native villain to send one ICMP packet to this PC and we will check this should be untagged you can see this frame without tag so we can see native villain transfer data in between them without tag that's all about today thank you so much have a nice day bye bye